Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. Welcome to our first video on a series of videos on exponential expressions. On this first video, we're gonna take some time to look at some definitions of terms that we'll be using throughout the next videos. So let's go ahead and start with our first definition. The first term I would like to define is the term exponent. Now exponent is just a shorthanded notation for repeated multiplication. Now all that means is, is that it's just a quicker notation so we can show that repeated multiplication is happening. For example, let's say I had the exponential expression of n to the sixth power. In this expression, what the six here, the six here is my exponent. What that six is referring to, it's referring to the fact that I'm taking n and I'm multiplying it by itself six times. Because there was a six for the exponent, I'm now multiplying my n six times by itself. Now n is what we refer to as the base of our exponential expression. That is the number or the term that has the exponent on it. Okay, so we have two terms that are very important for us to recognize. We have the base, which is the number, or sometimes it's the variable, and we have the exponent up here in the top right corner that's telling us how many times we're going to have repeated multiplication. Now, you can have whatever type of number you want for the exponent, right? Because you can have it as many times as you want to multiply that base number. Now, sometimes we have certain names for the exponent. For example, if there is a two here for x, we would say that that is to the second power. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that. We would say that this is to the second power. Another way that we refer to as a two for our exponent is we say that it's being squared. So sometimes throughout this video, if there's a two as an exponent, you might hear me say it's x to the second power, or you might just hear me say it's x squared. All right, we also have another little nickname for when we have a three for the exponent. When you have a three, we refer to that as x to the third power. But it also has another nickname it's only for when it has a three for the exponent. We might refer to that as cubed. So again, I could read this as x to the third power or x cubed. After you get past the second and third power, we don't really have any nicknames that I'm going to use throughout these videos. Instead, we just keep referring to it as some number as the power. So we have x to the fourth power, x to the fifth power, x to the sixth power. That's how you refer to the exponents. So let's do one quick example so we can make sure we get familiarized with these terms here. I'm gonna go ahead and write down this other exponential expression and I'm gonna write five to the third power or I could say five cubed. What five cubed is representing here is that my five is the base number, that is the number or the term that has the exponent on it. And my exponent for this problem is the three. So that's telling me, the reader, that I need to take five and I need to multiply it by itself three different times. All right, I hope that this video laid a great foundation for the terms that we'll be using You'll see me use these terms throughout the rest of these videos. Again, the number that we're looking at, that's the base, the tiny number in the top right corner, that is what we call the exponent. And all an exponent is, is it's just shorthand for repeated multiplication. All right, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you in our next video.